Hi, it's past midnight here. Uh, this might be the most important video, warning video that I've ever made. And this is no joke. Uh, you might have seen up in the sky the what they call the northern lights, the aurora borealis, and been impressed and amazed, like, wow, look at that. Incredible, beautiful, all that, unless your sky is too cloudy. But it's all over the country. It's down in Florida. I saw one report of it being in South Florida, way down South Florida, and all over Europe, and I guess maybe other, other, uh, you know, Asia. I, I don't know, but it's all over. And it's, according to experts, this is or potentially be the greatest calamity to strike the world since the Great Flood. The speaker said something to the effect that it's like admiring the, the sharp blade of a guillotine as you're about to lose your head. Because we don't understand what is involved in these colorful lights. Uh, a small amount, I guess, is a good thing, but what we've got now, because it's, there's a lot of red in it and pink, is way the the electromagnetic field of the, of the of the world is way too weak, and this c could affect oxygen levels, et cetera, et cetera, around the world, and more and more of it is going to be happening. There's, Apparently, there's, I haven't stayed on top of this at all, but it is, uh, there's been more sightings further and further south of this, of this uh, natural wonder. Um, now you happen to, if you've seen my videos, you know that we have the one solution for fixing the electromagnetic fields. And it's not by having one electromagnetic field, that just exacerbates what's going on, you know, with uh, various tools that the people have. You need a huge number, like the sun, it's a limitless number of different fractal frequencies. Fractal means unusual, irregularly shaped, such as you would have with a mountain range, where each mountain is a different thickness, a different height. And as you well know, I give this information away for free. I've made video upon video about it. And I recommend that you start getting yourself heartfelt energizers. If you can get the 300 millimeter ones, that would be great. But in the meantime, it can take six weeks to get them, at least in the past, uh, from applicum.com. However, if you have ceiling fans, you can take copper wire, put it, fold it, or bend it in half, the length of the, each blade, stick it in a, a power drill, gently let it twist, or hold it the other end with the pliers, gently let it twist until you see it's, you can feel it starting to buckle, then turn it off. And then tape those copper wires on the top side of your ceiling fans. Um, and you can measure them before you, you know, when you bend the copper wire, snip them so they're the same length, or maybe even after you've made them, check them out to each other and snip them so they're the same length, and have the open end pointed out. You turn your ceiling fans on. A lot of ceiling fans have opposite rotation, so if you don't want too much air, you can, you can turn it on the opposite speed uh, direction. Uh, the high speed is the best. Do this with all your ceiling fans. Um, and do it, it's late, it's about 1.30 in the morning here, Central Time. Um, but go ahead and get that done first thing tomorrow. Uh, or go to your hardware store and get the copper wires. This is a, it's drop dead easy. You, you, you cut the copper wire, thicker is better, thicker wire, 
the higher gauge is thinner. So like 18 is thin. I think 10 is thick. And the thicker it is, the stronger it is. So you take your copper wire, bend it in half, stick it in a power drill, have it twist. Don't worry about whether it's, whether it's uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. It makes no difference when it's spinning and when it's twisted. It makes no difference. Trust me on this. And, and on that copper wire, what direction it's going is all based on perspective. Are you standing on the right side or the left side? It's all a matter of perspective. You do not need to know about twisting clockwise or counterclockwise. It, that only matters if you're connecting two wires. You would want them to be the same, whether one is, if one is clockwise, then you want the second one to be clockwise, it, like that. Otherwise, it makes no difference because it is a neutral function that you're, that you're putting into uh, action. So go ahead and do that. It makes what are called toruses, which are like donuts of energy, and, and the energy is going in both directions on, on the torus. It's, it's, it's clockwise and counterclockwise. So don't, don't worry your little hearts about that. What you want to do instead is in your heart, remember, not just remember, but feel the most joyous, the most loving experience you ever had in your life and bring that into your heart while you're doing this. You do it anytime you have a, a challenging situation. And just not, the, you don't want the memory, you want the feeling in your heart of the most joyous time, maybe when you held your child for the first time, uh, or it could be something else, but go ahead and do that. Um, let's get these ceiling fans going. Go to applicum.com to get the uh, heart, the, what they call the multi-wave oscillators. Applicum.com, just scroll down. They have 300 millimeter and 200 millimeters. These, the smaller, the 200 millimeter you can put on a, on a, uh, a desktop fan made by Polaris. If you have a 300 millimeter, you can get the, um, the ones that are available from Walmart. Uh, what is it? Mainstay or something like that is, is the brand name. It's about $30 for the, for the, I think it's 14 or 16 inch fan. And you, when you put it together, all you do is you put the fan together the way you normally would, and you can leave the blades on. You need the plastic thing in the center. Leave the blades on or cut them off. And then with the hole, put that on the spindle and tighten the knob and turn it on high on oscillate. The more oscillation you have, the more fractal the frequencies are, and this is beneficial. So that's a, <coughs> this is a, a, a red alert again. We need to neutralize the, the impact of the, of the, uh, the 5G towers, that, or the, the cell mass and the 4G and what have you that are repeating energies, and they've poked holes in the, in the at upper atmosphere, and we need to fix that, and we need to do it right away, because the longer we wait, the worse it gets, and it will mean far fewer crops, etc. and it's not like, it's not as if you have, well, if it's 95% good, we'll get We'll only have uh, we'll have 95% good crops. And if it's 90%, we'll have 90% good crops. It doesn't work like that because farmers make a living selling the crops, and if they drop to 90%, it can mean the, it can mean the closure of the farm. So then you now you've got fewer farms growing food, and then you have more skin cancers coming in. Also, and depending on a person's health, 
you know, they'd be more and more susceptible to it. So, and that's, you know, you can cross it. You know, if the bridge goes 90% of the way across the river, the raging river, and the other 10% is gone, it doesn't mean you're 90% safe. It means you're 0% safe. And that's what we're dealing with right now. So please do this, share this video, like the video so that more people will see it. That gives YouTube the, the, the message that people like it. And also leave comments on what you have seen where you live and the colors that you've seen. You take care and God bless and sweet dreams.